subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping. We're going to look at the example 3 and 5 eighths minus 1 and 5 sixths. While we are doing the problem on paper, we will show each step to the right using the fraction tiles so we can visualize what's going on. We will use the yellow tiles to represent how much we have and the red tiles to show how much we're taking away. The first thing we need to check is do we have a common denominator? Are the fractions representing the same size pieces? Well, we can tell that answer is no. A sixth is larger than an eighth. To find a common denominator, we need to find a number that both 6 and 8 go into. So let's make a list of their multiples. 6, 12, 18, 24, wait, 8 is also a multiple of 24, so our common denominator will be 24. When we get a common denominator, we don't actually change how much we have, but rather we're just representing it differently. On paper, we will multiply each fraction by 1. Technically, we are also multiplying the whole number by 1, but since we want it to remain a whole number, all we will be doing is getting the same number back. So we'll be only focusing on the fraction part of the mixed number. Since 8 times 3 is 24, we will write our 1 as 3 over 3, giving us 3 and 15 24 Since 6 times 4 is 24, we will be writing our 1 as 4 over 4. To make this clearer, I'm going to represent 5 6 with this fraction tile, giving us 1 and 20 24 Now, before we can subtract, we need to have more 24 since if we only have 15 24 we can't take 20 of them away. So where are we going to get the extra 24 Well, we're going to rewrite 3 as 2 plus 1, and then we're going to write that 1 as 24 24 of course, then we'll add the 15 24 that we had before, and that would give us 2 and 39 24 This process is called regrouping, since 3 and 15 24 is equivalent to 2 and 39 24 Now we've got that done, we can subtract. With the tiles, we remove or cross out what we have taken away, which is being represented by the red tiles. On paper, we subtract the whole number in the fractions, for the numerator, we get 19, and of course, the denominator does not change since the whole was still cut into 24 pieces. We can see that both on paper and with the fraction tiles, 3 and 5 eighths minus 1 and 5 sixths equals 1 and 19 24ths.